Now, normally I don't do that many simulator games. Mainly, I turn that freaking music down. Yeah. Mainly because I like to actually enjoy these simulator games, but my wife went to Walmart recently and we found these dollar cheapo games that had like, they were basically, you get 10 games for a dollar. Um, I think they were originally 10, but they were clearanced out to a dollar, so 10 cents a game. And notice how this says Water Park Simulator on the box, and when I went to go install it, it actually said Water Park Tycoon, which is usually red flag number one. Now let's load my previous game, which I have named Ass Game. And what's really funny is it took me, it, I played it for about 20 minutes, and it took me about 20 minutes before I figured out how to get people into the actual pool. Because this is what it looks like. It's, these are actually beach towels. People are actually, you can actually lay out, but, like, if you zoom in, there's all this, like, leafy shit here, and there's nothing I can really, and I couldn't figure out how the hell they can get in there. I, I tried setting up cabanas, by the way, the controls are absolutely horrible. Oh, yeah, probably should need some more litter person. Oh, it, it, I should mention, I have one, Jesus, I, the controls are very touchy to try and get this thing to move on, I just need to use the keyboard. But, uh, what's really funny is, people can change in there, and they got this little kiosk, and they got, like, this little McDonald's thing, and then I only have two, li that was weird, I just clicked and the whole thing just disappeared on me, and what's funny is, you have to have these, have to go along the side of the pool, if not, you, your guests can't get into the pool, I didn't know that, so for about 20 minutes, all these guests laid out their towels in here, because they couldn't get into my water park. Um, I managed to build just a simple slide, little dealies, and it, this game is just so weird. Now, for being a sim game, it the animations of the characters actually don't look too horrible. Um, I mean, they're pretty bad, but they don't look horrible. I mean, I've seen worse in more simulator games, so they did try something. But that's as far as they've got, is they just tried. And trust me, whee, that looks absolutely horrible. My computer's not the most powerful thing in the world, but this game, when it listed video requirements, just listed a couple of video cards, like an ATI Radon card, and like a GeForce 8800, which hasn't been used in years, and DirectX 9, and is compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. And only requires two gigs of memory altogether. And as far as the processor were to go, it just says dual core. Actually, it didn't even say yeah, it's just like 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know what processing power they're using. What? What the? There's that muffled guy again. There's just some guy going blah 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 blah. And the only time I ever understood whatever he was saying is I heard blah blah blah. blah thank you. Um, let's see if we can go, whoa, alright, back to the keyboard controls, now, you can, just like any other type, oh, there's my, there's my cleaning lady, now, if this cleaning lady didn't freak you out, she, she looks like old mother's Hubbard right there, I don't know if they were trying to be serious, or whatnot, but, um, this kid, I don't know if, and anytime you try and build anything, it pauses the entire game, everyone disappears. Let's go to staff. You can have lifeguard, lifeguard in a chair, and it's not just a chair, it's a lifeguard in the chair. But if you look, you can actually, get out of this damn menu, if you look, you can actually click on him individually. So you could essentially fire him and kick him out of there. But now there's just the chair, and then if you want to try and put another chair, you're going to get another guy in his place. It's just so weird. Let's see, let's hire this guy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go there. Now, this is old Mother Hubbard. I don't know what else to put that. It looks like, honestly, it looks like an old maid, but it almost looks like Koopa Koopa from, like, the Mario games. It's just got, like, that, like, Koopa-looking face. Yeah, and this broad, it, but I guess they only walk certain areas, and there's a lot of trash being built up. I don't know, right? Wow, so there's a lot of trash built up. 
And I have yet to find the trash cans, by the way. Uh, let's see, where else? Uh, please. This game is horrible lag, and I haven't even begun to show you all of it, by the way. All right, now let's exit out of this. Let's see if there's... Now, these are all the options you get to build anything. You have pools, which have this, where it's the pools in the middle, like boom. Or you have pool area, which you can just cover up, and it's just more of that. Then you have this, which is like, oh, let's create lawn space for people to lay out. And then it showers, so people can just come in and out. That's all the options you have for pools. It took me forever to figure out how to get people in the pools. Now, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, attractions. What would you think attractions would be? Obviously, a diving board. We have these McDonald's arch things. They're really going with the McDonald's thing here, I swear. Because you could have this, and it could be the big McDonald's arch. You have to rotate these. You have to fit. I don't know if I can have this fit anywhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, ass. Uh, I can't figure this out. Ugh. Alright, so screw that thing. I'll feel like building another pool. Then we have this thing. These are the attractions. Now, when I get further on down the line, you'll see what other attractions I mean. There's benches, there's these things. Oh, I should probably add some of these for people to chill out in. But they take up so much freaking space. And yeah, the first time I forgot to put ladders in the pool. Then they have slides, you have octopus things, we have a sauna. Yeah, we can add that there. These looking weird things on that. Now if you click on shops, there's like the burger the burger world thing. You can have a pizza, a pizza thing. Oh, shops. Yes. A waste bin is declared shops. It's not declared attractions, because why would any why would that be considered accessories? And it takes up an entire square. So if people want to, so if people want to go over there, they have to walk all the way around to use the trash can. This game is so horribly built, and I got nine more of these, and I believe, and I'm almost. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on each of them. This is the only game I've actually played blind, but I'm going to play all the other ones blind, and I'm going to, and basically because my reaction when I first played this. I laughed a lot, and I just was like literally saying, how the hell do I get these people to my pool? Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the only concrete sidewalk. This cannot connect to here. You, it doesn't happen. If you try and build that area, it tells you you can't. I can't build it here. I can't. So this is as close to the entrance as you can get. It has. To, you have to have this grassy area. So it just looks really weird. There's no. Pa you can't have any paths going to it. It's just, oh, walking on brick, walking on brick, path, grass. Take off your shoes, it's grass time. And that's as far as you can get. So, I mean, and that's not even the worst of it that I discovered. Oh, giant slide. Yeah, it's just a giant slide. Nothing spectacular. Nothing at all. Let's see, we can let's build another one. And it's literally just giant. As it literally states, it's just a giant slide. It, it, yeah. And let's see, zoom out. And it's literally just a slide, just like this. That's it. Giant slide. Um, yeah, let's go up, up, up. And now we have that. And we're just going to make it nose dive. Why the hell not? And nose dive. Sure, these people will live. Finish it. Someone will fly off of there. I originally looked at this and going, let me see. My initial thought when I booted up these games is, I've seen their Tencent games. I knew they looked absolutely horrible, but my curiosity was like, you know, one of them has to be decent um, or something like that. So I decided to, you know, said, what the hell? Why not? Uh, let's see. Uh, I decided to, what the hell? Why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, and I was like, maybe I can break him. You know, maybe that'd be fun. Apparently, this is the only place I can find where you can actually, like, delete stuff. Aside from that, I don't know what else. But, yeah, that's all that
you have to click that out and then statistics now money and revenue expenses are shut the hell up dog money and revenue expenses when I first got this when I first decided to start I opened this up and it just had all these denominations going across the top no money Jeez, that plummeted far oh because I have like almost no money left yeah this is in this is not a track mode or whatnot this is actually free mode like free build you would think you have unlimited money no nope, you don't free mode is build a park all right let's see let's zoom in here oh and by the way look at the setting that we have on here I mean literally all the other theme parks are in you know let's say in the middle of nowhere surrounded by trees all that fun stuff like that nope this is like set in urban utopia that looks like some place you'd find in like North Korea you know or Russia you know it's just all these static looking houses and as far as I'm aware you really can't that's as far as the camera goes I can zoom in let's see this is I can't raise the camera up any further than that what the wow that kid has magical powers did you just see that my god the frame rate is tanking on this thing but yeah that's as far as the camera goes up what the wow he just miraculously changed with sparkles didn't expect that to be quite honest with you there's some people walking on the outside um, what this reminds me of a little bit is the original like theme park had you know it had a road going and that's where everyone got, came in got off whoa my goodness that's horrible but this just unusable space like as far as I'm aware there's no way to expand on this and that's as far as the camera zooms out that's as far as I can get it to zoom out um, good grief people are leaving in droves oh it's starting to rain but I mean that's as far as I can get it to zoom that's as far as I can get to zoom out yeah whatever he said oh boy it looks like it's about a freaking storm oh and this is the other point I was gonna get at now let's click on individual happiness of let's say this person that is not my recorder that is the actual game lagging to all hell you cannot click on people without the game going insanely nuts. Not only that, but I, I trying to get to the X and trying to pinpoint it is almost an impossibility at this point. I, I mean, it, this is just absolutely horrible. I mean, look at that lag. It's insane. So it's like... Let's see, let's see, can I get it on the X this time? Can I get it on the X? Yes! Did it work? No, it did not work. Just click on it, click on it, click on it. I am legitimately trying to click on it. Uh, there we go. That is ass -tacular. Yeah, it's just thunderstorming out. Everybody in the pool, you know. Stay in the pool when it's thunder and lightning out. You can actually see the water droplets. Now, to its credit, it does try a little bit, but it's no roller coaster tycoon at all or any other but she's like molesting this kid right there what the hell old mother hubbard's molesting that kid she's scolding him for throwing down that piece of trash i put a trash bin somewhere it's like right here let's click on statistics statistics of it maintenance state of maintenance you need a maintenance person to take care of a trash can like i'm assuming that's like when it's full but i really don't know. Yeah, I just decided to put a porta potty there. I thought it'd be cool. You know, I guess a couple of people have used it. Let's see. Um, I really have nothing else to really say about this game of how... I really don't know how else to build, what else to build, because I got so many building options here. You know, get... <laughs> My idea was originally, you know, I might do this, let's build a, oh wait, I don't even have the money for it. Yeah, I'm in free mode and I have no money. You know, ah, thunderstormy. Let's speed this game up a bit. I said let's speed this game up a bit. Yeah, 
That's me legitimately trying to click on this. This game is so horrible. It, I mean, zooming in, all right. Now, for how bad the frame rate tanks when I click on someone, it should usually when you do that in games like this, the game goes completely bonkers. But here, the game's like, no, I'm fine to go a million miles an hour. Just don't click on anyone. Just don't see how they're doing. You know, and I'm losing money, gaining money. Look at all the flood of people. Ah, oh. but it's sunny again. What the hell? Really? Oh wait, that's a cabana. <laughs> wait, what the hell is this? When the hell did I build that? Oh, that's a cabana. What the hell? What the fuck is this? I don't know. I just started plunking down buildings. Apartalu, Apartalu. Oh, I think it's like another uh, big version of a shitter. Um, I, I have no idea what the hell this is. It, there is nothing. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where that voice is coming from. First time I heard it, it scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck's up with this game? It's just going nuts. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, here's someone coming to use that slide. Let's see him. Let's see him take a nose dive. Wee! Ah! And it just follows the trail of water. Yeah, not unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon, which has a little bit of everything. Where they just instantly go, where they'll scream and you know physics will take over and they might fly to here, or just fall completely off. That kid just <whistles> what the hell? No, I don't want to close that. Um, let's see if someone else will go up there. Go full speed! Yeah, look, I I got more money. I must be doing something right. I added that. I added this stupid little thing. What if I turn it on and off? Oh. I can't turn it on and off. I can delete it. And... Well, oh, yeah, that's right. I added the sauna. But there's, like, no extra... Co you can't... The only way you can have money is by people coming into the park. Which is, a, like, a legitimate theme park thing. You don't want to charge people money for, like, a slide, you know. Or something like that. Unlike, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon. But, I mean... Yeah, you know, this is the first one I've seen that does it. And there's a whole slew of games that I'm assuming that's like this. Let me just read off the other games that were actually on here. It was called Mega Tycoon Giant Pack. Includes ten complete games. Yeah, these are complete, all right. Complete ass, I can assume. Let me see. It includes Zoo Giant, Titan Giant, or Train Giant, Hotel Giant 2, Industry Giant 2, Restaurant Ty Restaurant Empire, Water Park Tycoon, which is what this game is, but it's clearly Water Park Simulator. And they're like, and many more, and from what's on here, it I don't even know. But all i got to say is, I bet you half of these names that are on here aren't even listed as what they actually are. I can't imagine it. Um, that they're listed hardly as anything. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just curious of how many more of these do not have the same name that's on the packaging when you go to install it. It's a completely different name. That guy just, like, did a flip and, like, headbutted himself right into the water. My goodness. This is just insane. And now, I haven't seen these lifeguards do anything. They're just standing here. I'm assuming you don't even need lifeguards. What would happen, I wonder what happened if I got rid of... Oh, the whole thing goes away. I wonder what ha then I wonder what happens if I just get rid of just the guy. Because remember, we can just click on just the guy. I wonder if that's... Jeez. That touchy controls. What would happen if I just get rid of the guy and not the chair? Okay, it gets rid of the whole thing, regardless if you click on the guy or the chair. Let's see. Well, that's one. Is that trash can even square? Uh, I was trying. I was like, that trash can just looks really bizarre. It's like horribly done. My good grief. Okay, he's telling your asses to get out of the water and not listen. Now, the water effects in this game aren't the worst I've ever seen in a game. I mean, at least they, you know, the shadows look decent, so I mean, they were trying with this. 
but it looks like, you know, I can deal with games that kind of got shittier graphics if the game itself is decent. But, um, it seemed like they tried to get the best of both worlds on, like, a $10 budget and figured they were going to sell the game in a mega pack for $10. So they were only making, like, a dollar a game, or by the time I bought it, $0.10. Cents. Um, I don't know if this game's available on Steam. I, I would hope to God it's not. But it's a sim game, which probably means it is, or it's probably on sale for Steam in this entire pack. Uh, I have... Mm, Clearly no idea. Yeah, thunderstorm it up. I keep thinking this is a rainbow. Every time I go by, I keep thinking that's a rainbow. Um, now, I wonder what would happen if I put a water slide and finished it. And, you know, let's do that. Let's do something fun. Let's put a water slide that doesn't actually go to the water. Uh, let's see... Oh, there we go. I guess we're going to finish it just like that. Ah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the game isn't totally broken, but I was hoping that I could just, like, put it and have the people fall into the grass and see what would happen. Because I think that would be great if I could do that. Haha. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is so horrible. But it's fun. I, I, I like playing games like this because you don't want a game... Because uh, Let's put it this way. We've all played the same type of games where there's no challenge. This is like taking that same challenge or we're upping it with how horrible the graphics are. And to my credit, I probably should have played the tutorial, but I decided to skip that, figuring that I would figure it out. And considering the number of options I had, I figured I really could figure it out. And at the end of the day, let's see how our bathers are feeling. Um, it shows you how much money they have in U.S. dollars. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to change it. Um, let's see, settings. These are, these are the options. This is it. So it's in U.S. dollars. Oh, yeah, and every time I try to change, like, full screen, it didn't say. Um... Performance, quality, those are the video settings. Performance or quality? I don't know what, if that's quality, that's definitely looks like garbage. Because definitely, if it's on performance, it might actually play better. But it might even look like shit. Attractions. Ticket office entrance. Ticket office. Is that what the fuck this is? Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, some things just don't make any sense. Objectives. I have no objectives right now to complete, and oh, good grief. I wouldn't even want to attempt the objectives on this. All I got to say, if you, I, I picked this game up at, like, my local Walmart. You know, if I highly recommend this game. I will say that I recommend you buy this and just play it and, and have fun with it because... These are the type of games that will cost you real money. Like, this game costs real money, but, you know, it was clearanced out to a dollar. So I could piss away a dollar, you know. It, I bet you could just walk around the Walmart parking lot and find a fucking, you know, dollar and change somewhere. Dollar plus a couple of cents in tax, and bam, there you go. This game can be yours. And is it quite awful? It's not the worst game I've ever played. I mean, to, my, to their credit, it actually works. 
Um, I've played some games where they won't even boot up. So I mean to, so to their, so the publisher's credit, like when I first, when my wife handed me this package, I, I, I took a picture of it, I think I put it up there already, but it showed basically, you know, the, this package looked absolutely horrible, it looked like it had been tossed around in like a dump bin for like a year or more. The package is insanely scratched, you know, the corners are all worn out in it, you know, because everybody passed over this game. And I was thinking, shit, I'm like, would this game even run? And it said it would run on Windows 8, Vista, and XP, which I think it was originally designed to run on XP. But it, what it comes down to now is I was just thinking about that. I'm like, are these games, does it mean some games are meant to run on XP, Vista, and Windows 7 and 8? I do not know. Would this run on Windows 10? Probably, but I have no idea. Because right now I'm running 8.1. But, um, yeah, that was Roller... That was Water Park Tycoon or Water Park Simulator. Whichever identity you want to put this as and whichever they want to float their own boat, I guess. But um, I'm not sure which one, but I'm going to do all of these at some point, And I'm going to get them all up here so you can kind of see the madness. And we'll go from the beginning because I, I really wish I would have started recording this before I started playing it. Because I was having such a hell of a time trying to get people into the pool... They had all, like, flooded out into here. That's why all these towers are here, because they just all kind of flooded this area. And none of them get to the pool. And there was, like, one lone guy in here that was, like, pissed that he couldn't get to the pool, but he was in the pool area. So I, was, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was adding ladders. I was putting different types of slides in there. Still didn't do anything until finally I, you know, couldn't put these anywhere else. I couldn't place them here. I'm like, what the fuck's good to shower? But I have to put them against the uh, water thing. So yeah, this is Water Park Simulator. Thank you so very much for watching, and have a nice day.